A simple game of basketball, or their version of it. Most of them are elementary school kids or younger. Can I see? It's just this. It's a football pig. It's a football pig. Look at that little butt. Look at the butt. It's a tail. <laughs> they think they're here to play with some toys and eat a bowl of ice cream. If only that was the case. Uh, most of their friends uh, were in, in town. We have some people that, you know, lost everything. Parents of elementary school kids from Paradise and the Chico Unified School District were invited to come out here to pick up free items. This is um, kind of the seven, size seven, eight boys and girls clothes. A break from what they've been going through this past week. This is Caleb. Caleb. And this is Liam. Matt Redham is here with his two boys and wife. What we told them was the truth. But we did it in a way that, you know, I made sure that I was okay before I did it. They found out their home was okay, but going back will be hard with no community to go back to. It's something he's still figuring out to explain to his kids. You just survive for the moment. And then once things slow down, that's when it sinks in. Paradise was supposed to be a fresh start for Charity Parsons and her daughter Megan. They lost their home in the fire. Stuff can be replaced. You know, I know a lot of people say that stuff can be replaced, but what they have to realize too is that, you know, it's, it's our stuff. They don't think they'll be able to go back. Redham says that's not an option. It's, it's heavy, but you know, we, we, I think we owe it to the people who've been there 60 years of their life. To do that. They're still figuring out all the details for where they'll live and go to school. But through the process, the parents still want to make sure their kids can still be kids. In Chico and on Rochita, ABC 10 News.